All right. Hey, guys. Kevin Plowey, now with CBR. Good to see you both again. What's up, Kevin? Hey. Uh, this movie is just ridiculously fun. Um, very, like, it feels like a documentary almost. Like, this is how I imagine just a couple average days in Florida. Um, very, uh, <laughs> Jake, what was most important to you that you guys kept intact from the original version? I mean, to me, um, first and foremost for me personally, I think the energy that Patrick Swayze has in the original and what he put into Dalton was this kind of quiet stillness. But like that really sort of emulates strength, you know, and I I, I loved that. And I, I, I took that from his performance. And I think is on a whole, you know, in the original movie, they pushed the the stunts and they did stuff at the time that was like, you know, pretty on the edge. And I think Doug wanted to do the same thing. So he wanted to sort of incorporate that idea, but do it in a whole new way for now. And then also this incredible cast. I mean, they had like Ben Gazzara, Sam Elliott, Kelly Lynch, you know, Patrick, and we wanted to do the same, you know, like, and we have this incredible cast too. I mean, that, that, all of those things, I think we wanted to try and take as ideas, but ultimately wanted to do something that felt modern, um, a bit tongue in cheek too, and uh, just have action that you've never seen before. You had to keep that Swayzergy intact. Swayzergy, I like that. <laughs> and obviously we filmed it like a documentary, you know, like it was just yeah, right, all improv. Right, 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 and, yeah, yeah, you know, it's like, it's just sort of. <laughs> just whatever Florida gave you that weekend. Um, Danielle, what do you think is gonna surprise people most about this one, especially fans of the original? Mm, I think they're not ready for the rhythm of how the action goes. Um, they're not ready for how funny the movie is. Um, what else? For the music. They're not ready for the music as well. Uh, they're not ready for how good Daniela is. In the ah, movie. come on. They're not they're ready. Not, they're not ready for some scenes of Jake working out at the boats. They're not. <laughs> That's they're true. Definitely there are some of those. not there ready. Are some of those. <laughs> That was a Doug Lyman like request in the middle of everything. He was like, "Just do like some stuff. I work out on the boat. I need to use some of that." Mm -hmm. So, but he did that's it well. There. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> My friends will love it. <laughs> in summary, they're they're just, they're not ready for this shit. They're no, nobody nobody's ready for this shit. Well, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. uh, Jake, are there any other action movies from the '80s that you'd want to redo? Oh wow. Uh, you know, look. Uh, there are. Um, I have a real place in my heart for Gleaming the Cube. Um, <laughs> yeah, pull that one out, right? Yeah, B-side, you weren't ready for that, were you? But really, I do. I, I, I was a big fan of skateboarding, still am. Massive fan of that world. Tony Hawk, you know, uh, Christian Slater. Oh, that whole, the whole movie when I was a kid. Uh, then again, I have the memories of it from when I was a kid, like I did from Roadhouse. So I'd have to go back now and watch it. I haven't seen it in a long time, but those types of films I loved. So I don't know, you know, we I think we're most interested in Roadhouse now, but man, Gleaming the Cube was cool. That's a good one. It feels right. Dude, remember Rad? That's maybe rad, more 80s, yes. maybe more 80s, but yep. Rad was rad. Both feel ripe for remixes. Like, like if they're not diehard, nobody would get upset if you. Did you say remake or remix? Because I think remix is probably more appropriate. Yeah, <laughs> but they'd be like electric bikes. You know what I mean? It'd be like a. <laughs> uh, you guys, I always enjoy talking to you both. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.